Hello, and welcome to my tutorial series on how to make a collective card game in Unity. In this video, we're going to create an on-screen visual for the database of the deck of cards we've been developing. Let's get started. So the very first thing we're going to do, is we're going to go right here to our Assets folder. We're going to right-click. We're going to go up to Create. We're going to go up to Create a New Folder. Our new folder is going to be called Prefabs. And we're going to start off by making two prefabs. We're going to start off by making our card a prefab. And we're going to make our card back a prefab. Actually, we're going to do something a little better than that. We're going to delete this up here and get rid of it for a second. And then we're going to go to our card and we're going to right click. We're going to go to UI element. We're going to go down to image. And we're going to make this 200 by... 300 and then we're just going to simply color it the same color we had you know, the card back maybe make it a little darker like that and then we'll rename this card back like so we'll go back to our card right here we should have an empty game object we'll grab our card back right here put it in there just like that and now we're going to take this go right here to copy it to it and then we're actually going to open this because this is the only way we can do it go down here grab this card back and go right there replace them anyway and then now this should be a little more squared away we're going to go back hit play and if i go to my card I'll have this here and I'll be able to click my background or my, excuse me, my card back on and off like I did before. Now we're going to go up to our canvas and we're going to go to scale the screen size and we're going to change this to 1920 to 1080. And that'll give us a little more room. We'll do some more work with sizing our screen later on. And then lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our scripts and we're going to go to our player deck. And actually, I did this already earlier because I was playing with it. So earlier, we're just going to put this back. We'll cut it. So earlier, this was like this on your script. If you didn't change anything, I'm just going to take this and just move it below. I'm going to hit save and that way when I go over here to our player deck, it's just a little more convenient to have the deck size up here above the deck. That way when I hit play, or I'm sorry, when, when I want to change the deck, I can say I want 35 cards and change it out and then I can hit play. And then here's my 35 cards right here and I can just hit shuffle to change them around. I just think that's a little more nicer to put these uh, public variables on top of the deck right there like that. So a little bit of a recap, because we probably moved a little fast there, or I moved a little fast there, uh, is that I made a prefab of both the card and the card back. And that's because I'm gonna be reusing these again and again for different purposes. Um, as I mentioned before, I'll just go over prefabs real quickly, but I do mention it in other series that I have on this channel. A prefab is just a prefabricated game object, and basically what it's used for, it's created like almost a standard template for a certain type of object that you are going to be using constantly in your game project. In this case, the card's going to be used quite a bit, obviously, because it's a card game, and so will the card back, so I made them into prefabs. Um, and every time I make a new card, if I were to just drag this and put this up here, I can have a brand new card, but it's going to be the, just the same as this card without duplicating it. And I can create, you know, I can save to this also. So all the cards are the same. So we're just going to delete that card just for a second. So anyway, I also made the card back a child of the this card too, because for every card, I'm going to have a card back, even though sometimes I'll have card backs that might be used for something else without having a card overneath it, or excuse me, a, a card front on it. So that's why I did that. So with that in mind, what we want to do now is create a little visual representation 
for our cards or excuse me for our deck because right now if we go down here to this player deck this is really just a database this isn't connected to this card in any way and we're, we want to do that we won't be able to draw cards out of a deck however it's going to be quite a, a long uh, process to do this so I wanted to break it up a little bit so each video wasn't too long so I'm going to make a separate smaller video where we're just creating the panel and the card deck visually for later on being able to connect it to our database here so let's get started with that we're going to go up to canvas and we're going to right click I'm going to go down to UI and then we're going to go down to panel and we're going to call this deck panel. And our deck panel here, or just a panel in general, is just a way to group UI elements. So what we're going to do actually is we're going to, in this deck panel, we're just going to grab ourselves. Actually, before that, let's fix something I made a mistake on earlier. If I were to hit play right now and, and take a look at our card back here. Um, it it kind of has a, a very clean side. I want to make a little bit of a border so when I create my deck I can have a little bit of uh, identification like this one has the black border. I'm going to do the same thing with that. So I'm just going to, let me shut this off first. I'm just going to make the border the back a little smaller so we can see that border. So I'm going to make it 190, 290. And we'll just save that and we'll just save this whole thing to that right there actually we'll open up and save it to every card back just like so we'll just go back now that that's done we're going to go ahead and go back to our deck panel here and we're going to put a card into it right into our deck panel and then we're actually going to just move the whole deck panel over a bit. So here's our panel. We're going to shrink the size a little bit of it also. We don't need it to be that big. It just needs to hold some cards. And in our deck panel, actually, first we're going to add something called a horizontal element. And that's going to go right here. And basically what that's going to do is that this is going to allow us to uh, have a set of cards in here that we're going to be able to do different things with. In this case, we're going to space them out to make them look like a, a deck that's layered over one another. But in the case of, uh, just show you what all this does, like here left, I can move it over to the left. I can, well, actually I can't move it over to the right because it's not to the right. But as you can see, I can, I can pat it to the left, I can pat it to the right. And then I have a top one, a bottom one. And then the spacing is what we're gonna use. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna duplicate this by hitting Control D. We're gonna make four cards. And as you can see, they went right next to each other. Actually, this would probably be a better way to see how these things spread out. I can pad it to the left, I can pad it up and down. And here in the spacing, I can create spacing between them by moving by making it bigger. Let's go ahead and make this like 100 but if I make this negative I can you know just have them in a way to where they're slightly on top of each other so they look like a nice little deck of cards it's kind of stacked over there Let's see if I can just make that a little closer together and make it 250 and what I want to do actually it's this child alignment here I want to take this and I want to say middle center just to put this in the middle just like that and now also when I hit uh Let's just highlight these. I'm going to hit shift and just highlight them all. And now I can take all my cards also and flip them over a little bit. So now all my cards are flipped over. Actually, I thought I saved all my borders, right? Let's go back here. Maybe this just didn't save right. 190, 290. Save that. Stick this in my prefab. Who double check my prefab 192.90. And all these should be the same. There we go. And there we go with that. To play again. And now let's just highlight all my cards again. 
And there we go. Now I have a nice border. I still got to... For some reason, it's not all connecting here. All right. But I have my nice border over here. I'll probably erase that one away anyway. So now I have my cars kind of uh, staggered one over the other. And now let's move on to scripting this. So we're going to go over to our player deck script. And up here, we're going to create four game objects. We're going to put public game object. And we're going to call our game object card in deck one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to highlight this. We're going to hit control C to copy this. Go to the next line, control V, control V and control V to paste. And we're simply going to number these cards one through four for our four cards. And what we're going to do, actually, I should probably explain this whole thing, is that basically here in our player deck script, we're going to create uh, four game objects for these four cards. And it's going to be set so that when the cards go by a certain limit, one of these cards will disappear. We're not we're not actually going to make a visual that's going to be 40 cards. Well, you could you could you could put 40 cards here, but I'm not. I'm just going to put a small stack of cards. And as the cards hit a certain amount or they go down by a certain amount, uh, these cards are going to just be turned off. They're, they're going to disappear to to reflect the idea that the deck is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. So I'm going to say like, you know, when the deck gets to less than 30 cards, you know, card number one disappears. And then, you know, at 20, card number two disappears and at two and one or whatever. So that's how I'm going to do it. And you can use any number of cards. I'm just using four as an example here. You can have five or ten or whatever, however you want your game to look. So going back to our script here, we're going to go down here into the update and we're going to put if parentheses, oops, not that, in parentheses, we're going to put deck size is less than 30 and you can pick any number you want. I'm just arbitrarily picking 30 and we're going to say card in deck one dot set active is going to equal false and actually before i do the others i'll just show you how this works i'm gonna, gonna hit save here and i'm gonna go back into the game and let this compile and hopefully there's no errors there isn't so right here i have actually i have it down here underneath everything so i have a Four game objects I can put in here. And actually, I'll just put my game objects in right now. Just put this right here. This one right here. This one right here. And of course, this one right here. And so now I have 35 cards in my deck. If I hit play, nothing should happen. This should remain the same. So if I go, let's say, change this to... 29 if I have less than 30 one of my cards should disappear one of them should go should lose active not be active anymore so as you can see here one card disappears so now the deck is a little smaller and actually what I should do is I should probably highlight these like this and turn that so when I turn it on they're all face down so as you can see if, if the deck gets below 20 or i'm sorry 30 in this case you know we'll lose one card so we're going to go back to the script and we're just gonna or, control c and we're just gonna control v repeat this uh, excuse me repeat this a couple times or three times in fact and then we're just going to change this number we're just gonna let's say change this to 20 and then we're gonna say the second card and then we're gonna I don't know we'll say when the deck gets down to 10 the third card and maybe when the deck gets down to less than one card, or let's say less than two cards actually no we, we need to change this up so let's make this five and let's make this one and then this is uh, card in deck two, card in deck three, and this will be card in deck 
four. I think that looks good right there. I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna go back into Unity. Let this all compile. So we know what happens when it's 29. The other one was 20. I don't know. Let's put 15. And then we're gonna hit, and then two cards disappear. And then when the deck size is, what was the other one? Five. So we'll put four. And hit play. It goes down to one card, and then when it becomes zero. It's going to become, the, the deck is empty now. So that's exactly how we wanted this to play out. So that's it for today. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and support me on Patreon. And a special thanks to all my Patreon supporters. See you next time.